Let's move on to Manchester United, who are waiting to find out what action they'll face over the protests that forced the postponement of their Premier League match against Liverpool. The FA, Premier League and Greater Manchester Police are all investigating Sunday's events. As you can see, our reporter Carve Solico joins me now. Carve, we've been in this position before, almost, with protests against the Glazers in 2010. It seemed to go a little bit quiet after that, and we're seeing 11 years later, renewed protests. Are things different now? Look, I think they are. I think uh, Manchester United supporters, by and large, are so unhappy and so angry that I think these protests are going to carry on. You mentioned we were here before in 2010. Uh, I think it was different then because Sir Alex Ferguson was the manager. Mm. And the important point here is that United fans are not just angry because... They haven't won the Premier League title since Sir Alex Ferguson left. This is not anger about a lack of success. This is more than that. It is because they've had a look at the company accounts. They've looked and investigated how the club is being run. And they've worked out that because of the ownership structure of Manchester United, a lot of money is leaving the club. It's about one and a half billion pounds that has gone out of the club since the mm. Glazers bought it. At the same time, other people have been putting money into their clubs. That is what they're so angry about. And I think these protests are going to go on because obviously we had the whole situation with the European Super League as well mm. and what happened there. The fans are extremely angry about that as well. Uh, fans have a right to protest peacefully, peacefully, and I think that is what they're going to continue doing because a lot of former Manchester United players have said it themselves. Uh, they feel that enough is enough. You can't have the situation going forward where arguably the biggest club in the world is having to service debts that were put onto it by its owners. And that's what's been happening at Manchester United uh, for 15 or 16 years. Mm. I think... It's an interesting point you made because maybe a lot of people who aren't Manchester United fans won't know the exact reasons behind these protests. They may assume that it's to do with their form or, or how their season's going, but you know, actually they're having a pretty successful season on the pitch uh, at the moment. So the main issue you're saying, Carve, for these fans is a financial one. Look, it's very simple. When the Glazers bought Manchester United... Uh, they borrowed money. They took out a mortgage, effectively. And instead of paying that mortgage off themselves, they've been getting the club to pay off that mortgage. And that mortgage, if you look at it, over the past uh, 15, 16 years, Manchester United have spent £704 million on interest payments. They have spent £234 billion on debt repayments. So that is almost a billion pounds that has just gone on servicing this debt. And this debt, when the Glazers bought the club, the debt they loaded onto the club was 520 million pounds. That's what they borrowed. That debt has not been repaid. It is still about 500 million pounds. So going forward, United fans are saying, when is this going to ever end? Mm. We're losing, I think, in the past four seasons, uh, the financing charges and dividends that have gone out of the club have been £43 million. The following season, £41 million. The following season, £46 million. Uh, last season, £45 million. This is money that should be being invested in the club, in the mm. players, the squad, wages, infrastructure... Uh, Old Trafford, the training ground. That is what the fans are saying. Now, look, in the interest of balance, of course, we should say that as far as the Glazer family are concerned, uh, they would say that their ownership of Manchester United has been a success. They've won, I think, 13 major trophies since uh, they bought the club, although, of course, they haven't won the title since Sir Alex Ferguson left in 2013. And they would also say that, for instance, in the past seven years, Manchester United have spent £1.2 billion mm. on transfers. And over the past five years, the net average transfer spend has been £144 million a year. And the Glazers would also say that since we've come into the club, 
We've revolutionized the commercial operation. Uh, we make more money than ever from our commercial operations by having different partners in all different kinds of places around the world. So that is the other side of the story. That is what the Glazers would say. But as far as the vast majority of fans are concerned, uh, too much money is leaving the club uh, just to service the debts that the owners put onto the club. Okay, Carve, thank you for clearing that up for now.